I'm reading from verse 21. Job chapter 22, verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. That's very important in prayer. If your mind is torn about, if your mind is confused, if your life is shattered and scattered, you cannot pray very well, but you get acquainted with the Lord that is a father and he forgives sin and he removes the guilt, he removes condemnation, and then you are at peace with him. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away what? Tell me out loud. How do you put it away? Far from thy tabernacles. Any sin, you put it far away. You know, some people, oh, what I need is miracle. I don't, I don't. People, this preacher, so holiness preacher, righteousness preacher, talking about purity and freedom from, I don't want that. Oh, just, just pray for me. I want miracle. It says the foundation of receiving that miracle, of receiving answers to prayer, if iniquity, that sin, that transgression, that's evil, if iniquity be in a hand, put it far away from thy tabernacles, then shall thou lay up gold as dust, it will prosper you. And gold, the gold of offer, as the stones of the brooks, yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. God will protect you. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. He'll take your poverty away. Amen. And he'll take the scarcity of your life and from you take it away in Jesus' name. And then it says, For then thou shalt have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. And thou shalt pay thy vows. Now verse 28. Look at the verse 28. Are you there? Read it and let me hear you. Hold on to that. Thou shalt decree a sin. You have the final say in your life. If you say, this sickness will not remain in this family, you have the final say. If you say, the failure will not remain in the lives of my children, you have the final say. My wife shall not be barren, you have the final say. My husband is healed, you have the final say. Thou shalt decree a sin, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. That's what the Lord is saying. Once you take iniquity and that is gone, and then you come to the Lord, you are at peace with the Lord. It says, now you can decree a sin, and it shall be established unto thee. Jeremiah chapter 29. In Jeremiah 29, I'm reading from verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. God is thinking about you. Says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Anybody with expectation here? You have expectation to give you an expected end. My expectation will be fulfilled. I said my expectation will be fulfilled. I have what I desire. It says here, because I will give you the expected, and then shall ye go, then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. The Lord said, he'll listen to you. Your prayer is answered already. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. I'm reading verse 22. Matthew chapter 21. Reading from verse 22. And all things, how many things? Tell me out loud. Uh, you know something? Uh, look up here for a moment. Sometimes when you read the Bible, and the first time you read it, you say, Can that be true? 
can that be real do i think i can have all things all things then you repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until you know you believe it in your heart you know sometimes you need to preach to yourself that the bible says all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer all things all things all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive anybody there do you accept that all things can god heal you can god supply your need will he answer your prayer will he give you a miracle now the million pound question will you have a testimony and if you have it will you give it of course yes tonight you have a miracle seriously seriously tonight you have a miracle because all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive we're getting to the point now where you are going to receive we're looking at philippians chapter 4 philippians chapter 4 philippians chapter 4 and i'm reading there from verse 19 but my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in his in glory by christ jesus my god that same god that divided the red sea is walking in your life tonight that same god that made the jericho walls to fall down is walking in your heart in your life tonight that same god that has invited you here and he said ask and you shall receive and seek and you shall find knock it shall be upon unto you for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be open that same god is here tonight and is going to answer your prayer and he says this god the god of miracles the god of all authority and power this god will supply how many needs of yours how many needs of yours no matter how many they are the lord is going to answer all your need according to your stature according to your intelligence according to your height according to how you know how to speak these big big words in prayer you know some people they say i don't think god will answer him because the way i pray is not the way so and so prayed it's not the way so and so prayed is it according to how small loud big vocabulary you use in prayer according to his riches in glory by christ jesus thank god i have a miracle i say thank god i have a miracle number one is a voice of miracle and the power of the miracle number two is the variety and the plurality of the miracles number four number three now is the victory i have the victory the victory through prayer for miracles now you are ready you can get up now you have your miracle now you are released into miracle tonight released into miracle tonight just get up thank you put those books now put the bible down now and then you are going to pray what is it you need? don't look around just yourself just yourself lord i am here i need something pinpoint that thing identify that thing locate that thing and mention that thing before the lord and say lord here am i i need a miracle and the lord will give you that miracle talk to the lord talk to the lord and say lord here i am here i am i need a miracle tonight and identify that need in your life that miracle that you need in your life and say lord here is what i need here is what i need and allow the lord to touch you tonight transform you tonight and turn everything around in your life so that you know you know that you know you are a candidate for miracle tonight but remember where to begin if iniquity be in thine heart in thine hand in thy life put it far away from your tabernacle and say lord this iniquity this sin this evil get it out of my life lord i surrender it lord i give it up lord i turn away from it lord i repent and then you believe that jesus died for you on the cross of calvary to take away your sin to cleanse you to wash you 
to forgive you to change your life if any man being christ is a new creature old things old habits are passed away and behold all things are become new tell the lord if my people who are called by my name will get up from the seat of pride will humble themselves pray seek my face and turn from their wicked ways i will hear from heaven i will hear from heaven i will forgive their sin i will heal their land put that iniquity permanently away from your life put that sin away permanently from your life I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and died for me. Don't allow sin to stand between you and God. Don't allow any transgression, any iniquity, any offense, any wickedness, secret sin to stand between you and God. Get rid of it. That's the foundation of receiving miracle in our lives. And then you look to the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ. He'll forgive your sin, change your life, transform you. You'll never be the same anymore. Righteousness will replace unrighteousness. Purity will replace impurity. Cleansing will come instead of the moral defilement that has been in your life. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. tell the Lord cleanse me wash me purify me purge me forgive me I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ tell him Lord I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary to take away my sin tell him and receive that now receive receive that forgiveness receive that salvation receive that cleansing receive that transformation of life and become a new creature in christ the miracle of conversion the miracle of transformation let him do it Let him do it. If you are a believer, you know God sanctifies, purifies, He makes holy. If you are saved and sanctified, He can fill you with the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Spirit, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the earth. The power to win souls to Christ, the power of the Holy Ghost, all that comes through faith in Christ. and now your physical need your natural need the healing the deliverance he heals yes he heals jesus christ the same yesterday 
and today and forever jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever i beat unto you according to your faith beat unto you according to your faith healing deliverance strength for the weak healing for the sick deliverance for the oppressed unto you according to your face whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered receive it it's yours claim it it's yours all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer believing 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 ye shall receive remember it's all things remember it's all things everything 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 yes the answer is prayer Oh yes, he answers prayer. Your prayer. I'm praising that he has answered. I'm praising that he has answered. He cannot fail. He will not fail. Every prayer that is prayed in this place yes he answers yes he answers his name is greater than your problem his name is greater than your sickness his name is greater than your infirmity god answers prayer god answers prayer believe and it's done believe and it's done it's unto you according to your faith unto you according to your face why don't you thank him then and praise his name for what he has done he cannot fail no he cannot fail he cannot fail he will not fail it's done it's done tonight is your night he saves he heals he delivers he empowers he purifies he sanctifies in jesus name we pray and the people of god said amen tonight i have a miracle i said tonight i have a miracle say it like you are sure you know you have a miracle tonight i have a testimony i will not carry my problems back home can we say amen to that as bad as as bad and eyes closed i want to give you a chance not you know the devil is a terrible adversary that's an enemy brings accusation you bad fellow you sinful fellow a terrible backslider you have mouth to talk to say you have a miracle how about this thing you did that thing you did but you know once you confess that to god and then you say lord forgive me and cleanse me and give me power to live a righteous life then that forgiveness will shut the devil up and i tell the devil in your life shut up i said i tell the devil in your life shut up 
and the way we shut him up is when you confess those sins to God you forsake them and say Lord make me a new creature give me forgiveness give me salvation and Lord give me the grace not to go back into those sins anymore and then you have the righteousness of God in you we're going to just close your eyes and if you are praying that prayer you are saying you want the devil to shut up so all those accusations for sin the Lord will cancel everything you are forgiven, you are cleansed and then he gives you that righteousness that will shut up the devil raise up your hand, I want to pray with you thank you very much, God bless you be sincere about it and while you are raising up your hand, just tell the Lord and say Lord, here am I Lord, here am I I want the devil to shut up in my life all the accusation of sin condemnation, Lord take all that away this is the foundation for miracle. This is very important. Thank you very much. I'm still waiting for others. I'm sure you understand. Whatever you are guilty of, whatever you are condemned about, and you are telling the Lord, forgive me. 